Hello, I'm your man DJ Funk, and welcome, I guess, back to the Funk Cafe, if you saw my first video. If not, just welcome to the Funk Cafe, because I guess it'll be your first time. So go back and watch the first video, then you understand. Welcome back to the Funk Cafe. I'm your man DJ Funk. And I'm back just to end this day, I guess, with a video to secure a lovely three-day weekend. And back to the grindstone tomorrow. But if you saw my first video, you know I talked about CDs. But you know, I couldn't stay on those CDs Forever, yes, I started spinning vinyl. And I want to show some of the records I spun. Okay. Meatloaf. Bad Attitude. I don't hear a lot of people talk about Meatloaf. I might have saw a video where somebody showed Bet Out of Hell. But as far as Meatloaf records... I don't stumble on very many videos about meatloaf. But I tell you what, I actually really enjoy listening to this album. Look at that cover. This album reminds me of an 80s movie soundtrack. You know, it has those ups and downs, those, you know, how soundtracks usually are, you know, the exciting parts, the music. The low parts, you know. This reminds me of an 80s movie soundtrack. This was done in 84. So, of course, an 80s movie. One of those, like, kind of like romance, comedy, action like type movies starring somebody like Tom Cruise or Rob Lowe. This is just reminded me of. A very enjoyable listen. Has uh, songs on here. I mean, even the titles. Bad Attitude, Modern Girl, Nowhere Fast, Surf's Up, Piece of the Action, Jumping the Gun, Seller to a Siren, uh, Don't Leave Your Mark on Me, Cheating in Your Dreams. Sound like stuff that they go in one of those uh, uh, romantic comedy, Julia Roberts type movies. But I enjoyed that. And speaking of soundtracks, I did listen to a soundtrack. Madonna's Breathless from the Dick Tracy movie. And I tell you, I know it's a lot of Madonna fans out there. And I'm going to go out and say, I think some of her best vocal work is on this album. I really do. I listened to this and I was like, hmm. I'm hearing Madonna really use her voice more like an instrument with this. Album, rather than, you know, how she normally sings over the dance grooves and stuff. I really enjoyed it. Then I went from soundtracks to Bobby Humphrey, The Good Life. This is some later work of hers, like 79. On Epic, not Blue Note. I know a lot of people love her Blue Note work. That's when she was really into the jazz sound. This is more disco, dance driven. More vocals. Um, definitely less flute. She's known for playing the flute. The flute comes in mainly at the end of each song just about or a little bit in the middle. But uh, 1979 on Epic. You on Epic. That's all they were doing in them 70s was dance stuff. I mean, you gotta understand. On Epic, you had Sly the Family Stone. You had uh, Heat Wave, Groove Line. They was 
knocking out so much dance stuff. Uh, and then, of course, Michael Jackson, come on, uh, was there. So I can understand why this album, 79, on Epic, having a lot of dance uh, feel to it. But enjoyable listen. It's in my collection, and it was enjoyable. Uh, Eugene Hayward. Weekends and Holidays. Actually, this album is a mixed bag of stuff. 1980, it's, it's at the end of uh, the disco, just like I was talking about Bobby Humphrey here. The first song, uh, A Lifetime Guarantee, that kind of had a dance groove to it. Uh, Weekends and Holidays kind of went to the R&B. I can't believe the magic, same old funk. That's when it did the R&B funk thing. Then again, on side two, uh, booty bumping, kind of went kind of funk disco there. Uh, then he went reggae with this next cut called Pass It On. Then he said Sweet Home Alabama, his rendition of it. It was different, you know. Uh, Love Won't Leave You Alone. That's when he really gets down to an R&B type uh, 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 slow uh, uh, love song and then Mighty Mighty is uh, my love and this album was very enjoyable just a mix of different genres that he kind of took you through you know I love that album cover I love that album cover then here I just went straight up so, Bobby Womack, understand me. This is the album that has Harry Hippie on it. He does uh, Neil Diamond, Sweet Caroline, you know, Bobby Womack. He's like in Icy Haze as well. Once they get your song, they make it their own. And uh, uh, I can understand it. A phenomenal so R&B album, the late great Bobby Womack. Then I pulled this, Betty Smith, Jack Lager. This is a 2017 release by this young lady. Her vocals remind you of early Tina Turner with a little bit of 90s Macy Gray but the overall concept of this album take you straight to the late great Sharon Jones you know you know the vocals that rough and that growl is that Tina Turner then on some cuts she can be laid back and just kind of just singing along with the music like Macy Gray does and then but the whole concept of the the uh, blues, funk, rock sound of uh, Sharon Jones is here. Betty Smith, Jack Lagger. I love it. That was cool. Then I pulled another late great, Jamaican Zone, Alton Ellis. Love to share. That's a beautiful cover. Look at that. Every track on here is just laid back. It's nothing heavy and fast and funky. Just some laid back Jamaican grooves that you can just put on. Uh, crack over a bottle of wine with your significant other and just enjoy it. Uh, you know, the only problem this album has is you have to get up and flip it over unless you burn it all on the CD. But other than that, the whole album is just laid back, grooving. If you want and think that you're going to be up booty shaking, rocking with funk, 
and, and heavy reggae, just pounding, no. But if you want an album that just to sit back and relax and have your favorite uh, adult beverage, this is the album for you. Yes. This was a surprise. I bought this some time ago. Minty Collier. Shades of genius. Shades of a genius. And I'm telling you, this album was released in 65. This is not the re, this is a reissue. And this was released in 84 on chess. And I bought this and just kind of put it to the side. But let me tell you, I played it today. This is what I love about vinyl. This is what I love about Discovery. I don't even know who this woman was. To today. I bought this because of the cover. I thought it looked interesting. Man. And I did a video about buying stuff, looking at the cover. And I bragged about how so far so good. So far, so good. This album is phenomenal. And if anybody in the vinyl community know about this person, they know what I'm talking about. They know what I'm talking about. Oh my God, she does my babe Willie Dixon uh song. Woo! Then she does uh Ain't That Love Ray Charles. She does another Ray Charles Hallelujah. Then she does another Ray Charles uh Come Back Baby. Every song on here is fire. I played this four times. Yes. Fantastic, fantastic album. And that's it. So, spinning CDs, spent those records, and I'm going to call it a perfect weekend. With a way to end it. Right there. So with that said. I'm DJ Funk. And y'all know y'all always welcome here with me in the Funk Cafe. Y'all be safe out there. And that's it. I'm DJ Funk. And I'm out.